Hi traders, Vance Williams here. I've been asked to recap my price analysis. I provide analysis every day, Monday through Thursday. It's called Price Alert. And you can go back and read any of my price analysis. I was doing it as I was doing it. But I thought you might find it useful to see it in a brief video, just to kind of recap it all. I took some pictures of my actual comments this morning and the charts. And I want you to notice that my analysis is not vague. It's specific. And not just that, I'm telling you exactly what I think is going on right now. And if I think price is likely to move in a direction, I say so. If price is likely to stall, I say so. If I think price is likely to reverse, I say so. <laughs> and I tell you before it happens. Now, I want to be clear that my intention is not to show you where to get in and out of trades. Let me be very clear. You may see how accurate my analysis is, and you sell when I say price is likely to go down. However, there are five parts to a high probability trade, which include things like your stop loss, uh, your entry price, and your target. If those relationships are not right, you'll fail, even if I win. But in addition, even if you knew all five, if you haven't developed the skill to execute well, you'll still fail. It's like having a perfectly good airplane, only you don't know how to fly it. So um, if you want to learn how to do what I do, just send me an email and I'll respond to your email personally and answer any question at all. Now this morning began for me at 4.30 a.m. That's 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time, but it's 4.30 a.m. where I live on the West Coast in America here. But each morning I prepare my first analysis and send out an email to everyone on my list telling them what I think is going to happen right now or what's happening. Uh, this includes a link to my Facebook page. You can click on that link and see any comments that I make as the trading session unfolds. This is a picture of Price Alert Live on my Facebook page. Now shortly after I posted this, I sent a notice out to everyone on my Price Alert list. N now notice I'm saying in my initial post that me and some of my team are in a sell trade on the pound USD and that we're looking for a target of 159.67. Now as I was posting price was moving so quickly it hit the target. In the picture I'm showing you that when I was typing up the information when I posted it and when the target was reached. So the target got hit like a minute after I posted it. Um, at 8.16 I posted that the pound USD was pulling back once again and I said this was likely to make a push again in the direction of the trend. So here's an image of that in real time when I made the post and I think it's important for you to see that I'm telling you what's likely to happen before it happens and I'm telling you something very specific. Over the next seven minutes you see the second push make that move down. Okay so what do I say next? At times, I might comment every minute. At other times, 20 minutes or a half hour might go by. If nothing changes, I might not say anything. But at 829, I write that price is still looking bearish, but it's reached a key level of 159.67. I warn traders that price has already made a considerable move and that, and that price may stall here. Uh, later at 9.15, about 45 minutes later, I wrote that if investor sentiment continues negative, we could see a price move to 159.33 on the pound USD. And I also give reasons why price may just pause right here. And often when I say that price needs to make a decision, you'll see this. Price just goes sideways. You can see that I make no forecast on price during this time. I did say that price was likely to move down to 159.33 if investor sentiment remain negative. And if you read my live post, you'll see that I pretty much call it a day at this point. And I go off, I actually went off and made some noodles. <laughs> but I was in a second selling position aiming for that 159.33, which was, uh, you know, about 30, 40 pips below there. At 11 o'clock, I came back to the charts to check on things. At 11.11, you can see here that I wrote that the Speaker of the House of Representatives had made a comment that he thought they would reach a deal on the fiscal cliff issue. Uh, this started to reverse the, the entire market, really, because the, the intraday trend down was based on the fiscal cliff. And I wrote that if this optimism, as a result of this announcement, if this optimism remained, price would continue up. 
What I didn't say is that I closed a second sell position of the day, cutting my loss at minus four pips. And, you know, I was just convinced that it was highly probable that price would now begin a significant move up. And here you can see uh, where price was when I posted at 11.11. And then, uh, you know, as I'm writing up this, making this video for you, this is uh, what followed after that so far today. Am I ever wrong? Uh, of course. Uh, but I haven't been wrong much for a while. But because I'm human and capable of accounting for every variable in the marketplace, I'll always be affected by 8 to 12% random factor. And I really don't think anyone account can account for that 8%. But we don't need to in trading to be very good at it. Now, how do I do it? How am I able to read price so accurately? I'm taking into consideration every element that's affecting price movement in any meaningful way. In the case of the pictures I was showing you, I was accounting for the amount of selling interest, the amount of buying interest, the patterns that can affect a change in that balance, and the investor sentiment in the global markets. So that's how I do it. <laughs> If you'd like to learn about my services, at this point, they're very affordable. Just send me an email. And like I said, I'll personally answer any question you have, any question at all. If you want to find free books, price alert, or member services, you can also visit my site at forexartofwar.com. So forexartofwar.com. Till next time, have a good one.